Zohar Nain now travels in the third direction. And later in this lecture we'll be able to provide evidence that he's traveling north. And there he comes across a pass between two mountain ranges. And there in that pass he comes across a people. And the Quran describes these people. And pay careful attention to that description. لا يكادون يفقهون قولا Could not understand their language. No one could understand their language. Why could no one understand their language? Simple. Because these people had never interacted with the rest of mankind. There was never any trade. So you have to travel to learn languages to trade. They had never walked on the stage of history like the Chinese civilization, like the Egyptian civilization, like ancient Babylon, like Africa, like Mexico. No. These are people who live essentially like wild tribes. And so they are unknown in history. No one knows their language. Careful with that description because it's going to come in helpful later in the lecture. Zulkarnain now has to employ interpreters to eventually get the job done so they can communicate. These people, when they can communicate with Zulkarnain, then informs him, Inna ya'juja wa ma'juja mufsiduna fil O oh, Zulkarnain, surely Gog and Magog are committing fasad. Fasad in our territory. And fasad, we told you yesterday, is to corrupt everything you touch. Can you help us? Can you build a barrier to protect us from Gog and Magog? Strange that they should ask for this request. We're prepared to pay you. Why don't they ask Zulkarnain, who is the ruling power in the world, just go in there and beat the living daylights out of them so they'll never dare to come back here. No! Can you build a barrier? Indicating that although Zulkarnain is so powerful, he also cannot destroy them. They are so powerful. All he can do is to build a barrier. How does Zulkarnain respond? He confirms this awesome power of Gog and Magog because he says, okay, I don't need your money, what your Lord is, my Lord has given to me is more valuable. Help me with manpower. Bring me Zubarul Hadid, blocks of iron. So this barrier has to be the strongest possible barrier. Can I use recycled paper for this? Can I use mud? Can I use bamboo? Can I use wood? You've got to use the strongest possible metals. Aye. He builds the barrier and blocks the pass between the two mountain ranges. And then he says, blow with your bellows so that the furnace, the flames will grow strong. And then he used that to melt the copper. And then he poured molten copper on the barrier so that it would not rust. When that barrier was built, then Zulkar name spoke these words. This barrier has come as rahmah from my Lord, an act of kindness and mercy. فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعْدُ رَبِّي But when that time comes of which my Lord has warned, which time? Which time? When the ten signs are to appear, when the last age comes. When that time comes of which my Lord has warned, جَعَلَهُ دَكَاءَ Allah is going to bring down this barrier. وَكَانَ وَعْدُ رَبِّي حَقَّ and at that time, the warning of my Lord will be fulfilled. When 
the barrier comes down, then he says, وَتَرَكْنَ بَعْدَهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ يَمُوجُ فِي When Ya'juj and Ma'juj are released, Allah brings down the barrier. When they are released, they will be released like waves which will crash against each other and which will also crash against all the barriers that Allah had placed to separate peoples from each other. Hmm? One stomach likes Masakan Surabaya. The other one likes Masakan Padang, but not me. Padang Juha. Some like Chinese food, some like Malay food, some like European food. But when Allah releases Yajuj and Majuj, all these barriers are going to be swept away. And all of mankind will eat one food. Guess which one? Donald Trump. We dress differently. We dress differently. But when you are Jews and mad Jews are released, all the barriers are going to be swept away, and we all dress the same way. Hmm? We speak different languages. But when you are Jews and mad Jews are released, all the barriers will be swept away, and all of mankind, at least the elite, speak one language. And so when you are Jews and mad Jews are released, then the world is going to witness the whole world coming together as one global society. What you in Singapore call globalization. But that one global society, as it emerges, will cause fear in the hearts of those who follow Muhammad because he has said to them, he has said to his followers, that 999 out of every 1,000 on the earth are going to become a part of that global society, globalization. And they're all going into the hell bar, their excellencies and all. The only one who will survive and who will enter into the heaven will be the one who will resist becoming a part of the global society of God and my God. He will be able to successfully resist because he follows Muhammad Great is the wisdom of Allah that the world should end with such awesome drama. Great is the wisdom of Allah that the world should end with such justice. Only those who follow the truth can survive the storm of God and Magad. When that barrier comes down and God and Magad are released, then we are told in, in, in Sahih Muslim, this is a Hadith al-Qudsi, or the direct speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have created, please give me a copy of Jerusalem in the Quran. I have created creatures of mine. I have created creatures of mine so powerful that none but I can destroy them. And so when Gog and Magog are released, they will become the equivalent of Zulkarnain. They will control the world with irresistible power. And when they take control of the world, then they become the rulers of the world. But power, thank you, power will rest now on foundations which are corrupt. Because you remember they said, surely Gog and Magog are causing fasad, corruption in our land. And so when they are released, power in the world will now rest on foundations of fasad. And so this power will be used to corrupt everything. Secondly, as they embrace all of mankind in the one global society, 
that one global society is heading for the hellfire.